Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? El día de hoy les traemos el video que nos pidieron en los comentarios que es una entrevista completa con la nueva N400 con respuestas. Es obvio que los casos pueden variar y las respuestas pueden variar, pero se pueden dar una idea de qué pueden contestar y cómo pueden contestar. Recuerden que si les gustaría que hiciéramos más videos como este, déjenos saber en los comentarios. Hemos escuchado que hay oficiales que mezclan todas las preguntas, toda la N400 con las personales, con las cívicas. Entonces a veces las personas se confunden. Si les gustaría que hiciéramos un video como este mezclando todo para ver si están bien preparados, simplemente comenta la palabra mezclado o sin orden y con mucho gusto estaremos elaborando ese video para ustedes para que se puedan preparar mejor para su entrevista. Ya saben que si encuentran que este video les resulta útil, si quiero un poco, regalen su like, es muy importante. Suscríbanse para que no se pierdan ninguno de los videos que tenemos y recuerden que si se quieren preparar para contestar una entrevista como esta o estar lo mejor preparado para su entrevista ahí tenemos nuestro curso en línea en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com en este curso puedes estudiar en orden sin interrupciones con este curso te ayudamos a prepararte para las preguntas cívicas el examen de lectura y escritura las preguntas personales todo lo que tiene que ver con la nueva N400 las definiciones y hay muchas prácticas Además tiene un orden específico que te ayuda a digerir mejor la información. No puedes estudiar en tus propios tiempos y a tu propio ritmo sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Muchas personas no saben por dónde comenzar a prepararte y este curso te quita todo ese problema porque te damos un plan de estudio paso a paso a seguir para que quedes bien preparado para el día de tu entrevista. Como lo digo, sin importar tu nivel de inglés. Si eres una persona que tiene mucho inglés, vas a terminar el curso rápido, pero vas a llegar bien preparado a tu entrevista. Si eres una persona que tiene poco inglés o nada de inglés, vas a irlo haciendo poco a poco, pero al final, cuando termines el curso, vas a quedar bien preparado también. Así que ya sabes, si quieren tener la mejor preparación para el día de esa entrevista, ahí está nuestro curso en nuestra página cursosconfernando.com es el único lugar donde pueden conseguir nuestro curso ahí encontrarán el precio encontrarán todo lo que tiene que ver con el curso en nuestra página muy bien vamos a la práctica del día de hoy mucha suerte can you please raise your right hand do you swear and affirm that the statements you will give and provide today will be the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth yes i do you can put your hand down and you can take a seat I'm Officer Cruz, and today I will be conducting your citizenship interview. Can I see your appointment letter, please? Yes, here it is. Do you have your permanent resident card, your passports, and a valid ID with you? Yes. If you can show them to me, please. Okay, here they are. How are you feeling today? I feel great today. Did you come by yourself today? Yes, I did. Do you need to correct any information on your application? Yes, I need to correct my address. Who helped you fill out this application? I paid a lawyer to help me. Please answer the following questions. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever registered to vote or voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? If you lawfully voted only in a local election where non-citizens are eligible to vote, You may answer no. No. Do you currently owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes in the United States? No. Since you became a lawful permanent resident, have you called yourself a non-resident alien on a federal, state, or local tax return or decided not to file a tax return because you considered yourself to be a non-resident? No. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any communist or totalitarian party anywhere in the world? No. Advocated any of the following, or been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any group, 
anywhere in the world that advocated any of the following. Opposition to all organized government. No. World communism. No. The establishment in the United States of a totalitarian dictatorship. No. The overthrow by force or violence or other unconstitutional means of the governments of the United States or all forms of law. No. The unlawful assaulting or killing of any officer or officers of the governments of the United States or of any other organized government because of their official character. No. The unlawful damage, injury, or destruction of property or sabotage? No. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with, or have you ever provided money, a thing of value, services or labor, or any other assistance or support to a group that used a weapon or explosive with intent to harm another person or cause damage to property? No. Engaged in kidnapping, assassination, or hijacking, or sabotage of an airplane, ship, vehicle, or other mode of transportation? No. Threatened, attempted, conspired, prepared, planned, advocated for, or incited others to commit any of the acts listed in item numbers 6A or 6B? No. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in any of the following? Torture? No. Genocide? No. Killing or trying to kill any person? No. Intentionally and severely injuring or trying to injure any person? No. Any kind of sexual contact or activity with any person who did not consent or was unable to consent or was being forced or threatened by you or by someone else? No. Not letting someone practice their religion? No. Causing harm or suffering to any person because of their race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group or political opinion? No. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo les está yendo con la nueva N400? Recuerden que si les gustaría estudiar toda esta información, ahí está nuestro curso. En nuestro curso tenemos una clase con la nueva N400 en inglés y en español para que lo puedas estar estudiando y memorizando. Simplemente visita nuestra página cursosconfernando.com para que puedas adquirir nuestro curso y prepararte ya. Have you ever served in, been a member of, assisted or participated in any military or police unit? No. Have you ever served in, been a member of, assisted or participated in any armed group, for example, paramilitary unit, self-defense unit, vigilante unit, rebel group, or guerrilla group? No. Have you ever worked, volunteered, or otherwise served in a place where people were detained, for example, a prison, jail, prison camp, detention facility or labor camp or have you ever directed or participated in any other activity that involved detaining people no were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group unit or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so no have you ever sold provided or transported weapons or assisted any person in selling, providing, or transporting weapons which you knew or believed would be used against another person? No. Have you ever received any weapons training, paramilitary training, or other military type training? No. Have you ever recruited, enlisted, conscripted, or used any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed group, or attempted or worked with others to do so? No. Have you ever used any person under 15 years of age to take part in hostilities or attempted or worked with others to do so? This could include participating in combat or providing services related to combat. No. Include all the crimes and offenses in the United States or anywhere in the world, including domestic violence, driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol, and crimes and offenses while you were under 18 years of age, which you ever committed, agree to commit, or ask someone else to commit. 
were arrested, cited, detained, or confined by any law enforcement officer, military official, or immigration official, were charged with committing, helping commit, or trying to commit, pled guilty to, were convicted of, were placed in alternative sentencing or a rehabilitative program for, or received a suspended sentence, clemency, amnesty, or pardon for, or were placed on probation or paroled for. Sorry, officer. These questions do not apply to me. Have you ever committed, agreed to commit, asked someone else to commit, helped commit, or tried to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. Have you ever been arrested, cited, detained, or confined by any law enforcement officer, military official, or immigration official for any reason, or been charged with a crime or offense? No. If you received a suspended sentence, were placed on probation, or were paroled, have you completed your suspended sentence, probation, or parole? Sorry, officer. This question does not apply to me. Have you ever engaged in prostitution, attempted to procure or import prostitutes or persons for the purpose of prostitution, or received any proceeds or money from prostitution? No. Manufactured, cultivated, produced, distributed, dispensed, sold or smuggled any controlled substances, illegal drugs, narcotics, or drug paraphernalia in violation of any law or regulation of a U.S. state, the United States, or a foreign country? No. Been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. Helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No. Gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. Failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. Made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. Have you ever been placed in removal, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. Have you ever been removed or deported from the United States? No. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Have you ever applied for any kind of exemption from military service in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Are you currently a member of the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te está yendo con la nueva N400? Si te gustaría tener una clase en inglés y en español en nuestro curso, tenemos varias clases que te pueden ayudar en tu preparación para la entrevista completa, pero sobre todo en esta nueva N400. Solo visita nuestra página cursosconfernando.com y aquí era el mejor curso para prepararte para tu entrevista de ciudadanía. Muy bien, sigamos con la práctica del día de hoy. How long have you been a permanent resident? For seven years. How did you get your permanent residency? My father petitioned me. What is your complete name? Carolina Martinez Lopez. Have you used any other names? Yes, Caroline Martinez Lopez. Are you going to change your name? Yes. 
What changes would you like to make to your name? I would like to remove my second last name. When were you born? October 24th, 1986. What is your country of origin? Mexico. Are either of your parents U.S. citizens? Yes, my father is. Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? Yes. How tall are you and how much do you weigh? I am 5 feet 7 inches tall and I weigh 170 pounds. Are you married? Yes. Is your spouse a U.S. citizen? Yes. What is your spouse's full legal name? Rafael Martinez. How many times have you been married? Only one time. Were you ever married back in your country of origin? No, never. Do you have children? Yes. How many children do you have? I have two children. Are you the biological parent of your children? Yes. Do any of your children live outside of the United States? No. What do you do for a living? I work at a school. How long have you worked there? For five years. What is your current address? 149 West Lincoln Boulevard, Newark, New Jersey. How long have you lived there? For three years. What is the date of the last trip you took out of the United States? December 20th, 2023. Where did you travel to? I traveled to Mexico. What was the purpose of this trip? Vacation. When did you come back to the United States? December 30th, 2023. In the last five years, how many trips have you taken out of the United States? Four trips in total. In the last five years, how many total days have you spent outside of the United States? 40 days in total. Now we are going to do the civics questions. First question, what does the Constitution do? 
sets up the government. What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? 435. Who signs bills to become laws? The President. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? The Louisiana Territory. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. What ocean is on the west coast of the United States? Pacific Ocean. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. Now, please read the following sentence. Where is the White House? Now, please write the following sentence. The White House is in Washington, D.C. The White House is in Washington, D.C. The White House is in Washington, D.C. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. Are you unable to take the oath of allegiance because of a physical or developmental disability or mental impairment? No. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. Okay, at this time, I will recommend your application as approved. Congratulations. Si te gustaría informarte de cómo son las entrevistas en la oficina que a ti te corresponde, dónde tendrás tu entrevista, te invito a que nos sigas en nuestro segundo canal de YouTube, Ceresens Ahora. En este segundo canal ponemos experiencias todos los días de diferentes partes del país. Puede ser que una de estas experiencias te dé información que tú necesitas para tu entrevista. Así que no olvides, síguenos en nuestro segundo canal de experiencias, Ceresens Ahora.